We've conquered the world, but one thing still scares us. Human corpse. Not because it's rare, because it's us. Chimps eat their own. Crows gather around their dead. But humans? We step back. So why does it scare us so deeply? Because for most of our evolution, a body was a warning sign. Millions of years ago, a corpse in the grass usually meant one of two things. A predator was probably still near, or a plague was coming soon. Those who stepped in to look closer often ended up as a predator's meal or got sick with disease. The ones who couldn't stand the smell ran without thinking. They survived. And over time, their instinct became yours. Today, we still have an ancient sensor in our nose for cadaverine, a chemical of decay. Sometimes the amount is so small that you may not smell it, but your body pulls you away. If you dare to look, your eyes say, that's a person, a face, hands, human shape. But your brain argues back. No, it isn't alive. That clash, human, yet not human, is what feels so wrong. That's the uncanny valley. A corpse sits at the bottom of it. When the brain can't resolve what it's seeing, it shuts the scene down and it shuts you down. You look away. But that's not the whole story. The cruelest lock is this. Humans can imagine time. Most animals only react to what is happening now. But humans, can do more. We can project forward. We can imagine the end. When you stare at a corpse, you don't just see them. You actually see a cruel mirror. You picture yourself dying someday, somehow. You feel that everything could vanish. But don't despair. To fight death, we built medicine. To face meaning, we made art. To carry loss, we created funerals, rituals, and civilization. We fear death so deeply because we love life so much. 